the space shuttle, the size of half of the 747, even less, has uh, two and a half million pounds of thrust pushing it. Two and a half million pounds. Yeah. It's, it's quite a bit of... Uh, so, and then you have the three engines and the two rocket boosters. And then when those rocket boosters have ignite, there's no switch to turn them off. It's solid rocket fuel. It's just gonna, it's going to burn. So you're in it. And so when the shuttle starts flying and then it starts turning, you know, this, this is amazing because then you start pulling the Gs on the stomach. So you really, really, literally can't breathe. You try to gasp for breath, and it goes on. Not like flying a, f a fighter. It's just gone for a few seconds. It goes on for like over a minute or less than that. Just pressure on the body. That's when you start thinking, wait a minute, you know, maybe this is it. You know, uh, I, you're going to die of suffocation, but you really don't. So you, the training allows you to, to react, you know, and to try to push the, the breathing. And then, you know, you things start coming off, the rocket boosters come out, and the, it becomes much more quiet, because before it's shaky. So when you get into space, really what hits you first is little things floating, little nails, little things that were pencils, whatever, from the shaking that started flying around. Uh, water droplets, sometimes you see them just... So when you, when you take your stuff and uh, you're living inside the shuttle, we are living in the same... Uh, 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 atmospheric pressure as if you're in Jeddah, sea level. You have a lot of yani, pressure atmosphere, which is good.